Hey everyone, it's Gamer Catnip. I am currently in New York City on a trip from a university. Right now I'm on my way to the Rockefeller Center, so hopefully I can show you some footage of that and footage of the places I go, so enjoy the journey. When I visit New York, the first place I go to is Nintendo World. Nintendo World, the bottom floor, is all Nintendo like Mario and Legend of Zelda, and you get to play the games and look at stuff. When I went to visit, I got to also see these cool art designs, which I tried to get a recording of each one downstairs. They're pretty cute, and mostly about Sapphire and Ruby. Look at that skinny, it's so cute! <laughs> Donkey Kong! Upstairs is where you find the Pokemon, the display cases, figurines, pretty much everything else. And you also, oh yeah, that's a giant Mario for the amiibo, that's pretty cool. You also get to test out the Wii U games, so that's pretty cool. You also get to buy some games if you want. I'm not sure how often they change it, but whenever I come here, the plushies are always different. And I come here twice a year. As you can see, I took some footage of some of the plushies they had for my time of being there. They're pretty cool. And look at all of them. They're so cute and adorable. How can you resist? You have to grab some. There's a Pikmin stand. I thought that was pretty cool and unique. Now here is the display cases. Over the months I've been going here for the past three years, there is always something different in a displays case. One time I came here, they had all the consoles from the beginning to, I'm assuming the Wii at the time, but they're always something different and they usually have things you can no longer get. I mean, look at all this stuff. Isn't it pretty cool? Who has all these things? I want some. What they did here is they took pretty much the merchandise for those important characters that stand for Nintendo and just display them, and just make it jealous and wish you had all these in your collection. I mean, look at that. I want some Kirby stuff. Um, I never played this game, so I don't really know much about Samsung. <laughs> I was really impressed to find they had a Xenoblade, sealed, so cool. Look at that. Here in this play case is all the portable handheld Nintendo has ever released, from the Game & Watch, to Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, SP, ooh, is that some Zelda I see? To, ooh, those DS, look at all these DS. Oh my god, they had so many. They had way too many DS. Way too many. Oh, Pikachu. Way too many. This Game Boy is actually from a soldier who was in war, and in an explosion, this Game Boy somehow survived and is still able to play games today. It's pretty cool. Oh, you can also get a Mario Kart for your kid. I mean, you know, it's not that expensive. It's only like, uh, $200. Ugh. And of course, the coolest display is that Majora's Mask is gonna be for 3DS. But look at that, it's so soon, 2015, it's so soon, we're gonna get it soon! Oh, I thought it was pretty cool. It was raining, you can put your umbrella in a bag. But come on, it's cool. My plan was to show you some more footage of the tree in the Rockefeller Center, except it started to rain, so it's kind of a hard to record outside. <laughs> The first video game store I went to was called 8 Button Up. It had a lot of old video games, they were just a little too expensive for my taste. The next video game store I went to was called Video Games New York, and they had a lot of cool statues outside. I mean, look how cool these are! They're huge! On the inside of the store, it had everything. Every game you have ever wanted on so many shelves filled the entire store. There was just so much to look at. So many things. They had GameCube, N64, Nintendo DS, 3DS, PS2, PS1, just every system. Everything. The only thing I didn't re take recording is of their Wii, 3DS games, and GameCube because those are on the other side and I didn't want to take footage in front of the employees. For lunch we actually found a new restaurant called Golden Crepes near a video game store. We've never heard of it. It just opened. It was meant for us to go to. I ended up getting the salmon and cream cheese crepe. It was actually really filling and I'm surprised I was able to eat it all in one sitting. I didn't have much time to record the outside or the inside of the stores of this, so I'm just going to take pictures from Google and tell you about them. The next store I went to is called Book Off. I come here every time I visit New York City. It is a second hand book and electronics store and it has so many video games that I'm always leaving the store with something. They also have manga, DVD, books, and Japanese books for you to buy. 
Of course, for pre-dinner, I went to Jamba Juice. They have so many great smoothies. They used to have a matcha green tea smoothie, which I would get, but they took it off the list about a year ago. So I ended up getting a razzmatazz, and I have a little bit of footage of my drink. It's a large. Who cares? It's really good, really fruity, and I recommend it to anyone who visits. Where I always grab dinner from is Steak and Shake. If you don't know Steak and Shake, it has the best steak burgers and fries you'll ever have. We were kind of rushing, so we pretty much grabbed a few burgers to go so I can eat it on the bus. So that was my journey in New York City. The next video I upload will be the video games I bought from New York City. See you guys then.